Yes, uh, my name is Andrew Makoni. I am from Zimbabwe. I work in a private law firm uh, called Mbizo Mshada and Man Makoni Legal Practitioners. Uh, and at the same time, I'm involved with the work of Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights. It's the routine violations uh, involve um, uh, violating people's right to assembly and associate and to freely ex express themselves. To give an example, it is very common for people to be arrested for merely perhaps saying something that is perceived to be insulting of the office of the president. Uh, you can get arrested for that. Um, uh, it is very di difficult to assembly and associate uh, for, for common causes, especially expressing uh, anger or, or uh, you know, uh, you know, j just negativity on the way in which uh, things are being done in the country. Oh, it is, it is very important to be able to express yourself because it is in expressing yourself that you enjoy the right to live. If you cannot uh, freely express yourself, if you live in chains, then it, it, it means that you are unable to enjoy the basics of life. Well, um, it is challenging to some extent, but at the same time I must express that over the last few uh, years, notwithstanding the repression that is there in the country, I think uh, the judiciary has, has managed to, you know, to, 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 to maintain a semblance of impartiality in the way it, it handles uh, um, uh, matters, especially concerning the violation of, of human rights. You know, we are heading towards elections in 2018, and it is especially during the electoral period that uh, uh, human rights abuses um, increase. Um, uh, the international community could do well to keep an eye on our country, especially at this moment as we gravitate towards the, uh, the watershed elections in 2018. Uh, having the international uh, community talk about the situation in Zimbabwe will help us activists who are on, on the ground because firstly to encourage us to continue working in the sense that we know that uh, the world is watching the world is with us the whole world is 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 is, 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 is insisting that zimbabwe must get it right so that is the first basic thing i believe uh, um, um, uh, if, if if the international community speaks with a loud voice we will get secondly i also believe that uh, our government sometimes listen to voices that come out of out of Zimbabwe, and perhaps such voices will then assist us in improving the democratic space uh, as we go to the, to, towards the two, 2018 elections. Uh, the training I have received last week from ISHR has been very very um, important and useful to me in the sense that uh, it has broadened uh, my understanding of UN mechanisms. Uh, especially as, as Zimbabwe Lawyers for Women's Rights, uh, with the fact from next year, would want to see business doing more towards respecting human rights. 